lichens. There's loads of different lichens here. Um, you can see these are the flat folios ones like leaves, these ones here. They're probably parmelias. I don't know if they're all the same. That one looks a bit different. And then you've got the branchy feathery ones which are known as fruticose lichens. Um, and, and they're great indicators of clean air because they take all their, their um, water in straight from the air and if the air is mixed with um, any poisonous chemicals and, and even dust and that, then they don't survive very well. So if you've got a whole range of lichens and a, an abundance of lichens, it's a sign that there's clean air. And they, they like to grow up in the air. They, they obviously can't grow where there's lots of things that cover over the shade, so they won't grow much down in the grass, but they'll, they'll grow on trees. And this is a sign these are really old apple trees because there's a huge abundance of them. There's another one, that's a different one again. That, uh, that's um, maybe, a, I don't know if it's a ramelina, but that you can see that's flatter branches, the feathery one here, and then these, these flat kind of leafy type ones, at least two of those here on that. And then of course there's the mosses as well. You've got one particular moss here. And they're all looking great because these things just dry out when it's not, um, when it's dry. And they just sit there and then when it rains again, they beef up again and they, they start to function again and photosynthesize and grow. So they actually can sit dormant in, in, in like a kind of hibernation, but in a dry season, which of course, if you're up on a tree and it is dry and sunny, then you just sit there and wait for the next bit of moisture or cloud or rain. And the mosses do the same, these mosses up here. You'll see them really shrunk in the dry season and then they'll spread out and they're looking magnificent today because it's lovely and moist and rainy and wet.